If you are a software developer, you might have come across a word called Git, which is one of the most popular and famous version control system. Version control system is very important in software industry. It helps you to keep track of all the changes by saving the author's name, date, and time, etc. If there is a bug in your code after some new changes, for example after introducing a feature, you can always revert back your code to the previous version. If you are working in a team of multiple developers, you will have to share the code via email or USB drive. And then a third person will have to manually look at the changes of developers and merge them together. This is a big headache and version control system also solves this issue. Git actually checks for the changes and merge them together. So you do not need a third person to check for the changes and merge the code. In terms of Git or version control system, the project folder is called a repository. There are two types of repository, a local one which is on your local disk and a remote one which is somewhere on internet and that is remotely accessible. Git needs to be installed on your local disk and to do so visit git-scm.com and download it from there and install it. You can verify the installation by typing git in the terminal or command prompt and it will give the instruction if it has been successfully installed. If you want to use git in a project, open that project in your terminal and execute git in it which will create a hidden folder with the name .git. This folder has all the version control details, so make sure that you do not delete this folder. When you start making changes and add commits, you will be able to see the rest of all the commits. These commits are actually snapshots that have other details like code changes, author, date, and time, etc. You can navigate between these commits and go back to the previous version of code. This is the flow of git. All of the code is initially at working directory, which is then moved to staging area, which is like a waiting area. From there, it is moved to the local repository. Only the code that is in the local repository is trackable. Every time you make a commit, your code is moved to the local repository. And lastly, you can move it to a remote repository. A remote repository is nothing but a repository that is hosted on a cloud. Keep in mind that whenever you want to move your code from one stage to another, for example, from a staging area to a local repository, you need to use different commands like, for example, git commit. For example, if you make a new file, index.html, whatever changes you make, they will not be tracked. Initially, your file will be in a working directory, so you have to move it to the staging area by using the command git add index.html. Then you can move it to a local repository using git commit, and then you can push your code to a remote repository using git push command. So this was git in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have also shared a package in the description of this video, which you can use to learn the basic of git. So in the next video we will talk about GitHub.